The thing is that this sounds like it's common sense, but it's not. This goes back to caveman days, where if you were nice to the saber-toothed tiger, it would eat you. We're wired for negativity. And you might be saying, Lisa, I'm not wired for negativity. And I will say, yes, you are, and I can prove it. You go on Amazon, you find the perfect thing that you want to buy. There's 100 reviews. 98 are positive. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? <laughs> Two are negative. Which ones are we reading first? The negatives. Why? Because that's the real story. My husband will tell me, yeah, they pay people to put positive responses on there. <laughs> How do you know they don't pay people to pay, put negative responses on there? Okay? So we're going to do a little activity I like to call Lisa Ryan, soon to be famous, thank you, you're welcome activity. It looks like this. You will turn to the person next to you and back and forth three times. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Then switch. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Person with the shorter hair goes first. Do that now. All right, come on back. Did some of you realize that your your welcome muscles a little rusty? I actually had two women sitting next to each other at a program. One said thank you, the other one said no problem. <laughs> Did we not just talk about this, people? So let's talk about one more thing when it comes to our language. Because it's short, it's sweet, it costs us no extra time, it costs us no extra money, and that is the sincere compliment. Now the sincere compliment can say, I really appreciate your help. Thank you for doing, your, thank you for doing such a good job with that. Today, I'm going to give the example for admiring a piece of clothing because that's the, most, the best example of what often happens. What's your name, Miss? Nancy. Nancy. Okay, so if I were to say, Nancy, that is a beautiful blouse. The correct response? Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. But what do we say instead? This whole thing. Mm -hmm. Got on sale. $2 at the thrift store. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah, uh-huh. The thing is, we think we're being all humble, not accepting a sincere compliment. Now, if I were to say, and it was Nancy, right? Yeah, okay. Why is it hard for us to take compliments? It's hard for us to take compliments. Sometimes it's the way that we were born. Sometimes it's the way that we were that we were raised. If we said, said anything positive about ourselves, our parents would say, "Oh, aren't you all fancy? Why are you so stuck up? Why are you so conceited?" Okay. The thing is that when we say thank you, we stop because it is our natural tendency to make up excuses. Oh, this whole thing? No, not really. But think about it. If I were to say, Nancy, that's a beautiful blouse, and she said, this whole thing? Basically, you're telling me I'm an idiot for liking your blouse. <laughs> right? So we start to change our language. When we do that, it, it changes our relationship with people. Now, when you say thank you, the thing is, that now maybe Nancy would say, well, thank you so much, it's one of my favorites. And you can err on the side of being positive, but remember, we're wired for negativity, so we're more likely to err on the side of negative. So if you don't want to go into that, it's just thank you, period. It's a complete sentence. So just say, simply say thank you, and then shut Oh. It's all good. It's easy. So, quick quiz. From now till the end of time, when somebody says thank you, you will now say, or. When somebody gives you a sincere compliment, you will now say, and then you will. Did that response take us any extra time? Did it cost us any money? No. It's changing our language.